So our plan for the tower build is to have one central post and braces on each one of the four sides, which then connect with the central post of the tower. So it's almost like four walls that are braced to a central post, which are all weighted down at the bottom. I don't care for the story. It's the first challenge where we've thrown the story out the freaking window. Yeah, it's not relevant. We're spending a lot of time making sure that this is going to hold down well, and as soon as that bottom foundation is done and locked in, we're just going to shoot up straight to the top. So we're going to use these tyres with a little structure inside to sort of so that this can kind of be our suspension. Stani comes up with the idea of having these dampeners in the bottom. I've learned this watching lots of uh, mega structures <laughs> and seeing uh, different buildings built in earthquake zones. So hopefully I can apply it to this and uh, it will work. We're going to use rubber tyres as shock absorbers under the corners of our tower and interlock a lot of Technic on the inside of the building. Then we're going to skin it in standard blocks and windows to make it look like a real high-rise. Stani would never let me make a tower that wasn't aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so we're just trying to get this Technic platform and our base platform right because the foundation is critical. If this isn't right, nothing else from there up is going to hold. Yeah, boy. This is going to be rad. Shock absorbers. Very smart. This is a gutsy I'm approach. Back. Yeah, have a <laughs> now. It's ludicrous and I love it. We realise that we're probably not smart enough to outsmart the shape blade, so we're gonna try and outdumb it. <laughs> we come up with a brilliant idea to stack bricks until we have a solid block that's 1.2 metres tall. For aesthetics, we're going for a jungle prison theme. It's an eight-hour challenge. Yes. We've got to get to 1.2 metres, yes. Yes. which is 125 bricklayers. Correct. Yep. So we're about an hour in, yep. and you've done seven. <laughs> One, two, three, four, yeah. seven. <laughs> Do the math, dudes. Seriously, are you going to be able to make that to 1.2 metres? To disbelieve in the Lego, Jackson. We've got to believe in it. We've got to trust what we're doing. You are going to have carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, I'm concerned, yeah. The challenge with this build, based on the approach that we've taken, is just going to be time. We've essentially booked ourselves in for a eight-hour marathon. 